What's good, family? This is your brother Rich Long coming at you live with Keeping It Real TV. I came here to talk to you guys today about consciousness. Um, what we call woke, you know, it's something that's getting very watered down nowadays. Because so many people have come to the planet to raise up the consciousness of this earth and uh specifically black people you know i'm i'm black so uh i was sent here to my people to to bear witness and uh to lift up my own people and so many times there have been messengers sent to us and not just us they were sent to our government a higher authority sent them here and uh America believes in killing the messenger. You know, my whole life, <coughs> I was put in positions and circumstances where I knew the difference between me and a white person because I went to a white school. I always knew you're different. If you don't try to assimilate, we'll outcast you. We only care about you to play our sports. And if you don't try to assimilate, we won't let you play those sports. Um, we'll target you. We'll get our, our children to target you. You know, I've been a targeted individual, a TI, my whole, my whole existence. I've never got to take risks. I've never got to be around people who meant the best for me. Even my own mother and father targeted me. They were my first bullies, my mother and father. You know, um... And that's whether they know it or not. They should, you know. Uh, but we're living in a time where the truth wants to reveal itself. I don't feel bad to say that. I used to feel bad to say these things, to tell the truth, because there's so many gatekeepers trying to keep you from telling the truth so you won't tell the truth on them. To hell with them. You know, there, there's no love lost, but I love myself so much. I need to heal myself. I need the truth to be told for me so that I can grow and so that whoever hears this who's going through a similar situation maybe they can come out of it you know it's not it's not for me I didn't go through this for me you know um I was put in this place in these positions for my own growth yes but to be a, a example for when God raised me up after he set me apart for so long when he got time to raise me up you know, people need to know I went through the same thing you go through. You know, I'm normal. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't shit. You know what I mean? If, if we, if we want to put it like that, I'm not shit. The only thing that's, that sets me apart is uh, the conviction I have in myself to believe in myself and a higher calling and a higher power. But it don't get me uh, any favor on earth. You know, people hate me. People just hate me. Everywhere I go, people hate me. And nine times out of ten, I did something for them. You know, my family has hated me. They shit on me. You know, I got family members who, I don't even know the fuck you are. You know, I come in a room. I can tell you, you done talked about me. or You, you think you know me, you know? Like, my, my grandmother just uh, passed away a year ago. I had to go to a funeral, and I walk in the room, and these bastards I don't even know are looking at me like I owe them something. Like, they, like I've been talked about. I don't give a fuck. You know, uh, we all have these type of problems. So I don't want to go too far into the ego, but we all have these type of problems. If you're a light worker, you know your fam you know what your family has done to you. You know, you know you've, they've made you the black sheep. They made you the burden bearer of the family. They blame everything on you. They they scapegoat you. They they try to get other people to discount you. They target you so that they can say you're a liar when it's time for you to tell the truth because they know what you've what they've done to you they know what your truth may do to them but see me i'm not interested in revenge what i'm interested in is is saving somebody that's like me a child that's like me who's full of light and love and who would who would do great things if only uh if only the the yoke of bondage could be lifted if only the the uh yoke of oppression could be broken if only the chains could be removed if only they would be given a chance to be themselves and love themselves you know when i went to school um i always was a leader 
And I always was punished for things that other black kids did. Because they would act as if I brought up the worst to them. But what it was is I would... I was there simply to uh, be be the opposer of the devils that were there. You know, I ask God all the time, why would you put me there? Why would you give me... Why, why, why? Why would I have to endure these things and then these Toms, these Uncle Toms, these 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 people who they are the devil with the devil, uh they try to discount what I'm saying and say it's a lie, like they didn't undergo the same type of treatment. But the thing was, I had to remember not everyone picks up their cross and bears it. You know, a lot of us sell our soul. You know, the soul is what's the difference between us and a lot of different races. What do we have? We have soul music. We have soul food. What is the soul? You know, what is the seed of the soul? Do you know what a soul is? Or are you going by something that 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 maybe theology? What is it? That have Christians told you what a soul is? No. The soul is something that that mostly only a uh, 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 a few people even know what it what it is. You know, it, it's like we're never really taught about these things. And and me, what I know my soul to be, it's an aspect of myself that existed since the beginning of time, that existed with the great mother. And when Patah formed me on the potter's wheel, whether I say Patah or whatever name, whatever uh name of the ancestors I want to call this God. When they formed me and fashioned me, life was breathed into me. The the life that was breathed into me was the word. The word was with God. My soul was with God before he emanated my light body into this earth because essentially my soul is just a light. It's just a light orb. I could show you a soul on film. No bullshit. I have pictures of uh you know, the souls of the ancestors coming to my altar calls and, and, and they're just orbs. They're orbs with wings. They look like a little ball, like uh, that Quidditch ball off of Harry Potter. That's what the soul looks like. But I don't want to get too off topic. Back to um, what I was saying, this consciousness. There's a shift in consciousness taking place. And so many of us are, are, are we've been waiting on this, a lot of us. A lot of people are being ushered into this so fast, they don't know what to do. Their head is spinning. You know, I feel that my family is all becoming conscious. When there was a time where they would rebuke me and say, we believe in Jesus. You know, they would act crazy as hell with me, uh, instigating and, 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 and picking and, and scaring themselves. They going all back doing behind me on the computer and, and seeing all these Illuminati videos. Stop watching shit that I'm watching. Stop being nosy. Stop. You know, they wasn't ready for it. But now I see the time has come. And it's a beautiful thing. It, it, it kind of piss you off if you've already been in this thing. But then again, that's the ego. It'll piss you off because you're like, man, y'all y'all on such an egotistical level. Oh, I'm woke. I'm woke. You know, it's it's played out. It's bullshit. But I get it. I understand. You know, we all are, all of our timers were set off at, at different points, you know. And we all coming from different angles. Everybody has their own angle. You know, we're different angles of light. You can say angels, angles, whatever you want to say. We're all different. And we came down here to be different. You know, a lot of people want to shut me up. They want me to be quiet. They want me to go away. It ain't going to happen, Captain. It ain't going to happen. Because I was sent here. And I must do what I was sent here to do. It's going to make some people uncomfortable. It's going to shake some shit up. That's all right. It's the conviction that I have. It's okay. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. You don't. Y'all ain't seen how I act. I, I, I'm, I'm. You, you don't even know. Y'all don't know the half of it, man. You don't know how I act. I've really been calm, and I've really, I really, I really shut the fuck up. But that's over. That's over. It's the time of the the revealing, you know. And it's time for me to reveal myself. And and it's a good thing. It's good for us. It's good for you. It's good for me. And we all must take this time to reveal our true nature, whether you want it to or not. The truth must be revealed. It must and it will. And it shall be revealed. And it'll tell it on you. The truth will tell itself on you. Whether you, you didn't want to reveal it right then. You know? Yeah, man. It, it, it's so much going on in this world. And I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm just glad to be here on this day. Who gives a damn who the president is? I feel like Donald Trump done took it. You know, literally took it. I felt that that was going to happen either way, you know? I'm not fucked up about it. 
because I, I want to see America fall. I thought that people of the Christ consciousness knew that was what was supposed to happen and that you were supposed to be in agreement with it. I had no idea that so many people would fight me, that so many people were rooted in, 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 in this ideology of the devil. And that so many people acted as devils. I, I, every day I'm seeing more and more as I study the word. And as I, as I, I'm, I, that's a video for another day. Because a lot of us have, have came full circle and did a 360 with our consciousness. And we went back into the old things that our ancestors used to be into. You know, the root work into the Psalms. Because the Psalms is for us. The Psalms is the heart of David. That's for us. Some shit is for us. That's for us. The whole book is. The whole book is us. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. We'll talk about that later. But just, just to give y'all um, um, a backstory on me, I've been coming into my consciousness, this state of consciousness, consciousness that I'm in right now, this fifth dimensional consciousness, um, which at this point, God only knows what I'm what dimensions I'm coming in and out of because the thought processes and the downloads are coming from so many different angles. But yeah, man, uh, I've been going through this transition for about nine years and it's been painful. It'll be painful. Y'all are going to be in pain. It's not all sage and milk and cookies. It's, this is some deep shit. Then when you get to the bloodline shit, ooh, shit. Then when you get to the root work and start conjuring and working with the spirit, ooh, shit. Then when you find out that the God is the devil and the devil is God, oh, my God. It's like a hot, cold, faucet shit. Oh, my God. I don't even want to take y'all there right now. But bear with me. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying. I'm just a I'm just a tool. God will just use me. I'm I'm nobody. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody. Okay? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is go deep into your subconscious mind and figure this shit out on your own. This is your brother, Rich Long, signing off. And I'm here to keep it real with you.